other issue we need to look at is the fear of technology and there's really no need to be afraid of a website anymore. In the old days when they were built on HTML platforms, yep, there's a good reason to be afraid. But now we build very user-friendly blogs using WordPress technology. We provide your initial training and once we've set the website up for you, we can actually show you how you can create your own entries on the blog. You can put a special offer up in five minutes if you know how to do Microsoft Word, there's, there's really no problem. It's very, very easy to do. We hold your hand through the whole experience. Most people will be able to do it straight off, but if you need telephone support, that's available as well. And it just becomes a five minute job then to update your blog with new products, with special offers. Uh, anything you want to do, you can do it yourselves quite easily, but we'll hold your hand for you anyway. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to update your WordPress blog. What I've done here, I've brought up a particular blog that I own. It's called MotorcycleDiary.org. It's a blog that was built for me by Terry. And here we are at the login page. I'm going to click login, obviously, so we can get into the blog and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a post. Now this looks a little bit imposing but it really isn't all that overwhelming. This is what they call the dashboard that you see when you log in to a WordPress blog. This is only needed if you decide to change the content of your blog. People who want to view your blog don't have to go through this process. So what we'll do is up in the left hand corner here we see posts. We'll click on that and here are some previous posts that I've put into the blog and adding new so it's come up with the add new post screen. It's fairly simple down on the right hand side here you can see the categories they are the categories that Terry spoke about a few minutes ago so I'm going to click motorcycle safari preparation because we haven't yet left on the motorcycle trip to South Africa this blog is about a forthcoming motorcycle trip I'm doing through South Africa um, into Swaziland, Lesotho Botswana and Namibia. So I've chosen a category so I haven't gone so and it's appropriate that I choose motorcycle safari preparation. I'm going to have some tags they help also with search engines to to find content on my blog if someone types in some keywords. This is what search engine will have to work with. So I'm going to call it Motor Cycle Tour. I've already got that there. Cycle Safari and I'll garden root and that'll do me I think for this particular example so I've got some tags in there now I'm going to add in a title call, call it motorcycle safari stage three Cape Town Garden Route Victoria and you'll notice that what I've done is I've actually put some of the keywords in the title we've got some tags and we've got some categories 
and as Terry also spoke to you about, it's also about having those keywords in there, but not being so overwhelming that you put them everywhere so the Google robot comes to the unfortunate conclusion that you're keyword spamming. So what you see up here, it started to pop in um, that title and that's all good. What I've done is I've actually pre-prepared my post using WordPad. You don't have to do this, you can post directly to the blog, but I do that. Just simply I can formulate it up, check it for spelling errors and all these sorts of things, which you can do on the blog, but it's just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it this way. So we'll paste that in there. There's the text. Now I'm going to actually also add in an image. Okay, it's come up with basically this little dialog box. We can go from a URL or from a computer. Well, I've got this particular image on my computer, so we'll select files comes up with a dialogue box, South African Safari, I'm going to pick Southern Africa Route 3, I'm going to open that, and it crunches that into a form that it likes. So down here I can see a thumbnail of the image, I'm going to put it on the right going to have it medium sized. So I'll just click insert into post. And let's put it into there. Um, I'll move it up just a little bit so it's sitting right down the bottom. Don't really want that. So basically that's a post done. You've got a HTML tag there, you can look at the, the embedded HTML tag or code, I beg your pardon if you wish. And the next thing we do is basically hit the publish button. That has been done. So we just log out, go to the, the blog, and lo and behold, post. Now, that wasn't particularly difficult, I'm sure you'll agree. That's all from me now, signing off. Thank you.